I had a terrible headache and a terrible sore throat. I started to get up to go into the bathroom and I was walking sideways. He took one look at me and within 45 minutes I was trached. I couldn't breathe and they put me in the iron lung. The doctors came in when I woke up and they told me what happened and I was in the iron lung nine and a half months. And it was about a period of 35 years there that I was just a normal person. Then about 27 years ago, all of a sudden, my husband touched me one night and I was cold. Well, what I did, I went into respiratory arrest. So they rushed me to the hospital and brought me around, got my blood gases back up, and thought I was stable and I coded again. They didn't know anything at that time about post polio syndrome. They thought that it was some sort of respiratory problem. So when I got to where I could talk again and tell them that it was related to the polio, but they wouldn't listen to us. They didn't seem to think that we knew what we were talking about. So I told the doctor that uh, that was the only thing that it could be. From there, I got better, but I was never to go to sleep without being on the ventilator because the diaphragm doesn't work. It's not my lungs, it's my diaphragm. It only works about 30%. So I have to stay away from people that have colds. The grandchildren come over, they can't come over with colds. I don't get into a, a large area where there's people that cough, so I'm more or less homebound. And I'm finding that over the period of years, I am losing more muscle control. I'm finding that there are things that I just have to give up. I can't do it. If I do do it, it takes me three days to recover. We have progressed and we worked so hard to get where we are. We don't want to go back. But we have to stop and think, what are we doing to our bodies by taking that extra step or, or working extra hard when we know that it's going to put us in bed for a day or two. There's, you've got friends out there, you've got people out there, family, let them help you. Don't feel bad about asking for help because we were always taught you could do it, you know, that drive, push you, push, push, push. Don't do that anymore. They didn't expect us to live to be in our 60s. And we fooled them. We're still around. And we still plan on being around. Mm -hmm.